What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we are jumping in with some pretty exciting D2 Beyond Light content. And of course, today is the big day where we finally get the launch of the expansion. But as always, when we get a new content drop, there's a whole ton of new info and specifically loot in this video that we're going to take a look at via some early previews and things like that. So, of course, spoiler alert, we do get a look at some Season Pass stuff, Season Pass exotic weapon, new ornaments as well as raid stuff. We get an early peek of the new ritual weapon, upcoming mods, various exotic weapons, items, and a few other things which we'll break down in the video. So, guys, as always, if you do enjoy this one, a rating below very much helps us out. But now, let's get into it. Once again, the spoiler alert is absolutely necessary if you want to jump in later on today or later in the week. Of course, we are going to talk about upcoming content. One of the things I wanted to speak about first is actually something that Jinsa posted, and of course, Jinsa does plenty of data mining for Destiny stuff. They said a few hours ago, for the first time since D2 came out, they've really changed the encryption, and it took him quite a while to figure any stuff out. But despite this, he did share some pretty interesting images, so one of them is obviously a teaser for the Deepstone Crypt raid. But also, a little card right here for Season of the Hunt, and it says the unimaginable has occurred, entire planets have vanished into the darkness. And as we knew, the influence of Zivu Arath was going to be very much present for this season. But it lists a new PvE activity, and obviously this is going to be linked to the spider and the various NPCs, but also the fact that Hawkmoon will see its own exotic quest. And that will be part of the season itself. So as Luke Smith had teased earlier in the year, Hawkmoon is absolutely a quest weapon and something that we can look forward to over the next few months. But we can see as well that we've got instant access to duality and the Titan there in some new season armor. So pretty cool look at some of the content coming up. However, yesterday after Beyond Light started preloading, a few players were still able to sign into the game before servers went offline. And so essentially we're able to look at some of the gear and things in the game without needing the database or anything like that. So a couple of things shared right here by Terror Rick, but there is the new Season Pass exotic weapon for Season of the Hunt, and that's going to be the Duality Shotgun. Obviously a pretty cool looking weapon right here, something that we'll get access to pretty quickly if we own the Season Pass, or of course you can unlock it. And we can see that it comes with Compression Chamber, and it fires a pellet spread in hipfire or a single high damage slug while aiming. And then additionally, it does have on Black Wings a trait perk where pellet final blows grant a stacking precision damage and reload speed buff, and then precision hits with slugs extend the duration. So that's going to be a very interesting season exotic weapon to get a look at. Then also via the season pass, there is the ornament for the weapon, Antiquity, which is another pretty cool looking thing right there. So that's a look at duality. But then of course there is the Cloud Strike Sniper with mortal polarity. Precision final blows generate a lightning bolt at the target's location. We don't get a look at all of the traits right here, but with Salvation's Grip you get Cryo Cannon, and you can hold to charge and release to fire, and the weapon's projectiles create stasis crystals and freeze nearby targets. You can also see as well that the stasis element is actually associated with the weapon in the UI, so stasis elemental weapons absolutely are a thing, at least in exotic form right here. And then there's the Lament with Banshee's Whale, and you can press to hold to rev the blade, and this increases damage, shield bypass, and adds shield piercing to all attacks, and then you gain stacks when dealing damage with revved attacks, but additional stacks increase the damage and damage resistance of heavy attacks. Pretty wild looking exotic sword right there. And of course there is no time to explain and a couple of other things. Hawkmoon isn't actually visible in the database collection inside of the game, at least from any of these clips, but we do have an unknown listing right here in the power slot, and from what we can tell, it looks like this one is going to be associated with the raid. And so Nezzy on Reddit did post that if you take a look in the weapon ornament section, in the collection right here, you've got Yesterday's Augur, which is an exotic ornament for the Eyes of Tomorrow rocket launcher, which is otherwise completely hidden in the database. So it's looking like that is probably going to be the raid exotic weapon. It'll be interesting to see what we get in terms of an exotic rocket launcher again and how powerful that thing could be. Could be pretty strong. I remember previously we got to see Devil's Ruin, I believe, in the collection the same way because the ornament actually displayed a kind of miniature preview of the weapon. So that's an interesting one right there. And otherwise Terror Rick did get a bit of a better look at some of the season pass rewards that we're going to be able to pick up. So of course the package that gives you the armor and the exotic initially. Some new finishers like Silencing Shot, and then we have the Royal Chase Scout Rifle, a precision frame scout, and we can see it's got auto-loading holster and dragonfly right there. This is going to be a season pass weapon. As well as Blast Batu, an adaptive frame grenade launcher. Of course all of these will probably be farmable with random rolls and things like that. And if we take a look at some of the Universal Ornament armor sets right here, we've got the Steeplechase Vestment for the Warlock. This very cool kind of Ahamkara themed stuff right there. One of the cooler kind of at least enemy styled sets of gear uh, linked to a Season Pass, so give us your thoughts about that. And then some other little tidbits from the Season Pass, but we've got Recon Data, 
the kind of redeemable consumable currency for some of the season content. And you can see, bring this to the crow to increase your reputation with him, which absolutely confirms the crow as a vendor for the season as well as a you know returning character. So that's pretty cool. There are a couple of interesting legendary weapons here that were shared by some folks. So stars in shadow, I'm not certain where this one's going to drop from. It doesn't look to be a season pass weapon or associated with the raid or anything like that. But it does have a new bonus called Thresh. Killing combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super energy. But then there's also Trustee the Scout Rifle, a rapid fire frame, but comes with a new bonus redirection. Damaging rank and file combatants increases damage against more powerful ones. That's certainly pretty cool stuff. But based on a couple of the badges that were actually visible right here, we've got Europen, the collector badge obviously for Europa itself, and you can see the Europa armor is in there, as well as the Europa themed weapons we've learned about previously. Then there are a couple of other exotics and collectibles associated with that. But also, somebody managed to grab a screen for the raid badge here, so the Deepstone Crypt, we can see you've got Retro Causality and No Love Lost, two exotics that are associated with the raid, and then of course the emblem, the armor sets, and a bunch of weapons, plus that unknown slot right there, which as far as we know is probably going to be taken by that exotic launcher. And so if we look at Succession right here, apparently going to be associated with the raid. Actually, it has the kind of Arbalest model, interestingly enough, or something very, very similar, kind of a mix between a Voiced and Arbalest themed weapon. But it's an aggressive frame, as we can see. That one's got no distractions and Vorpal weapon. But of course, it'll be interesting to see what other raid pieces will drop inside of Beyond Light. But also right here, the Adored, this is going to be the new ritual weapon. And we can see this is a collection roll of it. So of course, there'll be different potential bonuses you can pick up. But this one has accurized rounds. We've got Triple Tap, Killing Wind, Vorpal weapon and Snapshot. We'll have to see how that one turns out in the game. Folks got to look into a whole bunch of different collections just yesterday. And as well as weapons, armor and things like that, we got a few new mods that are apparently going to be associated with the Deep Stone Crypt raid. So there is Herd Thinner, where your weapons deal additional damage to non-powerful combatants. And then you've got Enhanced Operator Augment. With the Operator Augment, you gain periodic bursts of healing when your health is depleted. With no Augment, collecting orbs of power causes you to periodically spawn heavy ammo. That sounds very, very strong right there. And then you have Enhanced Scanner, and with the scanner active, powerful targets are marked by precision shots and take increased damage for a short period. But without it, you gain a bonus to resilience and recovery and your class abilities recharge faster. Finally, though, there is Enhanced Suppressor Augment, and with the Suppressor, you take decreased damage from powerful foes, but without it, grenades temporarily stun your targets. And obviously, these are going to be associated with some of the mechanics and things that we might see inside of that raid but they definitely do sound pretty interesting from a mechanics perspective. So give us your thoughts about those as well, guys. Some folks, as you can see right here, even got to run a little bit of the Cosmodrome gameplay for New Light as soon as they got in yesterday before servers went off. And we can see there is a new kind of shorthand cutscene if you want a little bit of a taster of it right there. For now though, guys, that is everything we have to round up inside of this video. Just an early look at a bunch of things that we'll be perusing through our collections while we load into Europa later on today, no doubt. So give us your thoughts as always. A very random shout right here, but some players did point out they'd noticed some Black Armory themed looking armor in some of the trailers. And there is a Universal Ornament set right here that was shared. And this is the Forbidden Visage set for Warlock. So not sure where this is going to come from, whether it's an Eververse thing, a shout back to some of that Black Armory associated content. It's possible, especially with a link to Exos there. There are a few other cosmetic items that you may spot as well associated with that. So just another curious element, but we'll wait and see later on today. And for now, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Whatever you get up to over the next few hours, enjoy the release of Beyond Light. Hopefully everything will be pretty smooth and it should be a fairly fun experience. But if you want to keep posted with all the Destiny content, be sure to get subscribed here on the channel. Turn on notifications and all that good stuff and I will be sure to keep you up to date. But otherwise, whatever you get up to guys, I hope you have an awesome day.